Alright guys, now this is a video I wasn't really going to make, but I think it's important that I do because I've got to alert you guys as to what's going on. <clears throat> now there's something going on with my channel, and the reason it's important I'll get into, but I need to tell you that there's someone who's buying dislikes for my videos. Now, you would think like, why does that even matter? Why does that even matter? But if you go through my videos, there's about five of my videos that have been disliked about 200 times. One of them has been recently disliked 500 times. Um, another one about 300 times. Now, the reason I noticed this is because one of my interview videos at first was like, I looked at it, it's called Eating Dogs as a Personal Choice. Now, it wasn't one of my most viewed videos or anything, but I noticed that it had 200 dislikes. <laughs> and it was weird because the same type of video, which was just part one, tourist tricked into eating dog meat, it only has seven dislikes, 500 likes, seven dislikes. It's about normal for me. Um, usually I get around 900 likes and about 20 dislikes. So my dislike ratio is like a thousand to 10 usually. It's like very, it's a very high like to dislike ratio. It gives me a very good idea, indicator of how my message is being received. But yeah, this tourist, uh, this eating dogs is a personal choice. So I went into my analytics and I noticed that on October 21st, it had been disliked 192 times in one day. Now that's just unheard of. I've never heard of that before. And then I checked um, where, the, where the dislikes are coming from. So here, Colombia, Peru, Venezuela, and Chile. I don't have a demographic in these countries. So it, it, it maybe it gave me a few warning signs and I was just like, okay, okay, that's a bit weird. And one of my videos, will I be okay after what I witnessed? 988 likes. Now, 310 dislikes, this is a very positive video, a very emotional video, and I don't know why someone would dislike that video so much, or even want to get dis uh, pay for dislikes on this video. On October 19th, 279 dislikes in one day. And then you go over to who, uh, what country they're from? Colombia, Venezuela, Peru, Chile. Like, weird countries, I know. And I, it made me think a little bit. <clears throat> It made me think a little bit. Even my latest bodybuilder video, um, in the analytics, the dislikes haven't come up yet. There's a little bit of a buffer. But if you look at the, the actual video, 230 dislikes and 1,000 likes, um, no. It wasn't like that before. It had 14 dislikes before and 843 uh, likes. So, very peculiar. Someone's going and disliking my videos. Why would someone be motivated to do that? I'll tell you something about that because my, my videos have a very clear vegan message in there, okay? I'm very, I'm a, an animal rights activist, okay? I speak out for animals. Now, when someone comes along and starts paying for dislikes for my video, that affects my credibility in the eyes of non-vegans. Now, I'm already, I'm already credible in the eyes of vegans. I don't need vegan support. I've got that, I know that. Now. 70% of my uh, viewership is from those who aren't subscribed to me. So a lot of them aren't vegan in themselves. So what this person is doing, who's buying these dislikes, and I'll show you the website, you can buy dislikes, you can buy like, you know, 200 dislikes for $14 or something. It's ridiculous what uh, people can do. Now, the reason this is important is because if, when a non-vegan is watching my videos, they are full of doubt, okay? They're full of doubt. Now, they're smallest, they don't need much to push them over the edge. Now, if they see that, hey, 300 people have disliked this video, or they go to one of my debates and they see 200 dislikes, and they, they, like, it's gonna, it's gonna affect um, the way they perceive the video, because, let's face it, people go off public opinion, don't they? And it, it's just, it's crazy, I know. But I'll, so they're not, the person who's buying these dislikes aren't affecting me personally. I couldn't care less. I know my message is solid. I know I'm getting a lot of support. I know the message is getting out there. What they are affecting is my animal message to it, through the eyes of uh, new, new, new followers, new, new viewers who are potentially non-vegan. Um, so I'm, it's affecting um, my message, not me. And my message is a clear vegan one. So this, is an attack on a vegan message. Now, who would do something like that? Who would attack a genuine uh, animal rights activist who has integrity and speaks clearly for the animals? 
okay? No, there's nothing else really on my channel except for a clear vegan message. Now, I went across to, I was had a suspicion who it was, and I won't drop the name because I don't want to drop uh, this person's name anymore. So th this, this video was a video that I made to another YouTuber, and just ex explaining why I don't support them anymore. Pretty, pretty, I had to make it, uh, it was just to um, publicly cut ties. <clears throat> I looked at it, 2,000 likes, 752 dislikes, and I was like, wait a second. There was no, the point of this is there's no negative comments along with these dislikes. There's no, you, you take the time to dislike a video, usually you're gonna leave a comment, no negative comments, okay? Now, 750 dislikes, okay, so I looked at it from September 28th to October 23rd, 500 dislikes. I was like, wow, that's, that's, bit peculiar. Let's see when these dislikes came, these 500. As you can see here, there's a massive spike. <laughs> there's a massive spike. Now that is weird, isn't it? That is weird, is it weird? Let's have a look here. 500 dislikes on October 21st. October 21st, that date seems very, very similar to um, over here, the eating dogs. October 21st, 192 dislikes. So they're buying, lot, the, the, this particular person, who would pay for 500 dislikes for that video if it wasn't the person in question in the video? Hmm? Cost a bit of money. This person is spending money on this. Now, me, I, I personally don't care what other people are doing. Um, other, uh, so here we go. Let's have a look at the, on, on, that, on this particular video. Colombia, Venezuela, Peru, Chile dislikes. Wow, interesting, hey? Where are these? There's a pretty consistent thing going on here, eh? So that's what that's that's obviously where that's obviously where these dislikes are coming from. This person here is um, buying them. They're spending their own money on it, um, which is I find is very strange. Um, I don't worry about uh, what other people are doing, um, but this here, the only reason I'm making a video about this is so that my subscribers know what, what, what is going on here with my videos. No, I don't have 200 people disliking my video. They're just view bots. Um, they're paid dislikes, and I'm in touch with YouTube trying to sort, sort it out, see if they know where, if they can tell where, where these dislikes are coming from. Um, person in question has had problems with uh, spam and you, uh, bots on their channel anyway, so like I don't know why they're dabbling in this mess, but personally I don't care what other vegans are up to, I focus on the animal message and this here is jeopardizing the animal message by putting dislikes on my video and I just thought I'd let you guys know about it. What do you, th well like, I don't, uh, there's not much really to do about it, like I'm just like letting you know and like I don't use the word um, I don't want to use any negative words about how to describe it, but I feel like it's a little bit I don't know, I just feel like it's a little bit sad and a waste of someone's time and if they've got time and effort to do this, like a, sort of attacking a person who has a clear vegan message, then like what are you really in it for? That's what I'd ask you, what are you really in it for? Um, but yeah, uh, this is happening, this is happening to me, it's happening to about five other people. Um, yeah, so they've bought dislikes, so yeah, don't think that uh, I don't have public support, I obviously do. And it's an indicator. I prefer to live in reality and know, have a clear indicator of how my message is being received, okay? And my like to dislike ratio is a good ratio for that. It really is, because my message is being received very well. And some people just don't like that. They don't like that I'm actually doing good, you know? But, but the thing is, when I was doing bad in the world, I had criticism. Now that I'm doing good in the world, I've still got criticism. It's not gonna stop me. It doesn't really bother me, but what it is, what the part of it that is bothering me is that it's affecting the animal message because non-vegans, they have that doubt. They see the dislikes. Oh, it sort of feeds that doubt and it, 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 it sort of, it, it could sway them into going and not going vegan. So yeah, just thought I'd let you guys know about that. Uh, thanks for all your support lately. Thank you to, Everyone who comments and likes my videos, um, yeah, I'm just exposing this sort of. It's a bit of. A, it's a bit sad, really, in my eyes. I, I really think it's pretty pathetic, and you know, I've, I just I don't know what else to say about it. But anyway, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Boom.